Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. Okay, I am doing a very, very easy nail art video today. I feel like I haven't done a nail art video for months, which is probably true. I think since the beginning of December, I have an absolute ton of products to catch up to show you. I've got loads of things that have been sent in. So I'm starting today. I've got a few things here that are new. So you saw the nails at the beginning. Now these are my nails, obviously. So I think I'm going to call this um, easy elegant bridal nails because that's kind of what they are I guess they're sort of lace and glitter and very subtle so with that said the other thing is if I'm yelling at you I apologize I have an ear infection and I can't tell how loud I'm talking so if I'm bellowing apologies so let's get to it so what I'm actually using today as my base color is this color here from gel 2 this is nothing at all it's a very 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 subtle baby pink I'm also going to be using Magpie Glitter in Pearl, I believe this is called. Yep, Pearl. I am going to also be using a stamping plate. Now, this is new in. I'll have a review for this set soon. This is the plate 703 from Uber Chic Beauty, and I'm going to be using this image here. I'm also going to be using a stamper which is new to me I think Sarah Richardson's got a review on these I will have a review up but um, if you go over to Sarah's channel I'll try and link that below if I remember this is a creative shop stamper it's the I think it's called the galaxy stamper but I bought it from what's up nails and you also get the scraper with it now this is absolutely awesome finally a creative style stamper with ridges so you can hold it and I hated with a passion the original creative stamper this however I absolutely love so I'm going to be using that today I've got a cleanup brush from uber chic beauty so that is what that looks like so I'll be using that the polish I'm using the stamping polish is hit the bottle in whoops there's sample there hit the bottle in moonshine <laughs> and of course I'm going to be using some liquid latex for cleanup purposes just to pop around my finger so if you are allergic to latex don't use it otherwise you'll get an irritation so what I've done is my thumb my pointer and my little finger are done and top coated my ring and my middle finger I have done two coats of the nothing at all and it's down up to the sticky layer so as you can see that's actually quite patchy so if you are going to actually use this on your nails I recommend doing three coats because as you can see that's really not a good coverage but I'm putting glitter on top of this so I'm going to speed things up pop some music on and get to it just in case you're interested before I start, because somebody will ask me, this is a nail polish holder that I got from eBay because I always spill my glitter. And that's what I do. I just pop the glitter in there. Now, I know the sprinkle method is like uber in at the moment, but I really don't like it. I get it everywhere and I prefer my glitter to look a lot flatter. So I'm going with this. So let's get to it. so all done and I think they're really pretty obviously my nails are a lot longer than I normally have them and I just feel 
a little bit uncomfortable with a really bold colour on such long nails so I do like to keep them fairly simple and I think this is lovely and elegant and would be perfect for brides or if you want a Valentine's, subtle Valentine's Day nail. So guys if you like the video please give me a thumbs up. If you've got any comments or questions for me pop them in the comments box and I'll get back to you. I will link all of the products that I used below. And if you haven't subscribed, guys, please do. And also check out my Instagram because I post a lot of stuff on Instagram, some really cool pictures, some flat lays, that kind of thing. And I will catch you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.